guys, today we're gonna make some spools along with whatever you like. Right now I'm working on a really large one that I'm going to be doing a roll of stationery on. So that's kind of a fun idea too. I did a video on different ways to use the cardboard tubes that we get from all our beautiful IOD transfers and I thought, you know, they're so heavy duty and they're so cool, we've gotta come up with a way to use these. So this was one of the ideas and I thought I would elaborate on it a little bit. But let's just get started with this project. So I took my tubes. I was using cardboard when I first started. Pieces that I had picked up, but the company doesn't sell them anymore. They're corrugated and little thin wood on top. So my sweet neighbor cut me like 50 of these little thin logs, but you could use anything circular that you can find that you think would work well. Um, and what I did was I just put some hot glue on the top rim right here, just all the way around. And I glued it like this and just held it down for a minute tried to swish off any of the hot glue that had spilled out. And then I put hot glue on the rim here and turned it over and did the same thing on the bottom side and held it, same thing. Tried to get off most of the hot glue that was there. And so when I had finished doing that, then I painted them. and then you're going to just let it dry. So the first thing I'm gonna do after it's completely dry um, is I'm going to stamp it. And what I decided to do was use my, my fun wood grain stamp and go around the edges like that. And I'm just gonna do a little hit and miss with some black ink. I think this is one wood planks and this is an IOD stamp. And I'm just gonna do a little hit and miss. So just wherever it goes is good. I'm going to use a little crackle on the top and the bottom of the spool. And you can see how easy it is. this is. Just a little, just a little bit here and there all the way around. And then the last part is I'm going to take one of our croc stamps and I thought this was so cute and I'm just going to put it right on the top. So decide which side you want to be the top. cute, look at that. Now I'm just gonna put some dark wax on it. Putting a little clear wax on here first. What I think I did at the end was I just kind of lightly inked around the outside edges like that. What do you think? Okay, so now that you've got the basic concept, glue two circles on the end of your tube and stamp it and paint it. And you can make them a little darker with the dark wax or just leave them a little bit lighter. And you can see I used the wood grain and a little crackle a fun crock on the top. Um, you can put any of your fibers, you can put paper ribbon around it. We've also done some uh, paper garland tutorials and you can even take that to wrap around. Anything you can think of, but it's just a fun spool. You can make them bigger, smaller, whatever you need. And really, really easy in using up what you've already got. Thanks guys. <laughs>